Hi, I'm Amy Hamilton. I am here, hopefully, after the coldest day of the year. Before Christmas, it got down to 10 degrees below zero, and four days later, it was 65 degrees. That's Midwestern weather. If you don't like it, just stick around and see what comes next. Today is January 2nd, and I want to show you the southeast and early wild rise after these weather extremes. You can see the southeast and early wild rye are still green. Can you believe it? Frigid weather and we have green grass for the cattle. These cattle are maintaining body condition on this eastern gamma grass diversity field over this terrible cold spell and we are not feeding hay. Who can have too much green grass in the winter without expensive fertilizer? Growing native cool season grasses with native warm season grasses is free stockpile of high protein winter grass. The Natural Resources Conservation Service Soil Health Principles say to keep a green growing plant in the soil as long as possible to feed the soil. I'm not sure about the microbes, but my cattle like this green grass in the winter. Also, we like to plan for successful winter grazing. During the growing season, we stockpile forage for a snowstorm. We have found warm season Indian grass, left ungrazed in late summer, remains upright, and when mixed with the native cool season grasses, can meet the nutritional needs of our cows. If possible, we plan to stockpile forage on a south facing slope because it melts off quicker. When we moved cattle onto this farm several weeks ago, we started grazing around the pine trees so the cattle could get out of the wind when the bad weather hit. This minimizes wasted down forage. When given a chance, cattle like to find a natural protection from the elements. This lowers their nutritional requirements to maintain body condition. We try to take good care of our cattle and make it as easy as possible for us. You can see these native cool season grasses make good grazing for our cows. The regenerative design of the prairie diversity is companion native cool season grasses and deep rooted native warm season grasses working together, cycling nutrients for the benefit of the cattle, the soil and wildlife. If you have any questions, just leave them below or check out our website at hamiltonnativeoutpost.com.